Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Johnny DTV here. I'm on my Dell. Um, I got this from uh, my dad, and it used to be from you know from the shop back in the day. It's from 2009. <laughs> this computer has it's a dual core processor, and there's me on my laptop. <laughs> dual core processor, uh, t four threads. Uh, it has eight gigs of RAM. Quad channel memory, yes. Um, a GT220. And the CPU in this is a Core i5-650 at 3.2 gigahertz. And right now I'm in the process of getting thermal paste from Amazon. And that's going to be here in like a week. So this CPU right now is kind of a little hot. But... I'm just using this PC for like, you know, I guess reason, just, I'm going to put it in power uh, economy mode, just to keep it from overheating. Um, what I normally do is play maybe Minecraft, it runs Minecraft pretty good, it runs Floating Sandbox pretty good, it streams okay, it's only, it's, the output is at 480p though. <laughs> Excuse my mess, but... Later in the future, my videos are going to get better. Slowly, but I'm going at my own pace. I'm not going to rush into it and be in a hurry. So, yeah. Mm, reload last settings from last time. I'm going to slice it. And watch the... Well, actually, no. I'm going to load up the Britannic. A hospital ship. That sank in 1915, I think? Or... 1916, I, I don't really know much. Any Wait, oops. Load ship. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Sink under 55 minutes. Uh, thir ten, saving 1035 people and injuring 38. And there's like, I'm not sure how many was uh, breached. Breath. Depth of 66 feet. It's not really too deep underwater. RMS Olympic. 46,000 tons. Watches, triple screws, steamer in the world. The length 883 feet, whatever. And here's the Britannic. Turn on the smoke. And watch. Okay, yeah. And watch a storm hit. It's going to fry if it hits the front funnel, which it just did. Maybe a few more times, won't hurt. It's going to, yep, see it fried the fog horn. Not off, I didn't know that was on. <laughs> but yeah, the bell works. And the fog horn would have been right here. I don't think you can see that. Let's see. I'm filming this on my laptop, but I'm using that webcam. Oh, there we go. You probably can't even hear that. Yeah, I don't think you can, but... The point is, with this laptop, I better check the CPU temps. Screen. I better check to see the, what temperature the... CPU is, I'm getting a bit worried. Because I have to keep it on the downside for this for a little while. At least it has a heat sink. 59 degrees Celsius with Power Saver. It gets as hot as like 68, maybe. But, or 59, it just hit 59. But I'm trying to keep it low until I get that thermal paste in. So, yeah, I'm going to have to close out of this. Minecraft isn't really too much of a demanding game, but, yeah. <clears throat> I'll probably have OBS on this, and maybe borrow my own microphone, and my black web microphone, put it on this, and record off of it. <laughs> but this this is from 2009 or 2010, so, uh, I don't even know, I don't think there's a manufacturing date on this. But I'm guessing it's from 2010, or I'm gonna look up.
In okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, until core i5 CPU 650 at 3.2 gigahertz. I'm gonna have to see. Okay, 61 dollars, 34. The original one. I need to see. 3.46. Mine can only go up to 3.3. I think this one's probably going to be accurate. Recommendation 177. 73 watts. Bus speed. That's not right. 4 megabytes. That does seem reasonable. Maybe have 3. Maybe we have max channels too, but I'm getting. Uh, BCI. Max TK 72.6 degrees Celsius. There is no manufacturing date. So I'm going to have to look that up. Intel Core i5 650 processor. Processor. Release date. 2010. That was pretty close. January of 2010. So, in January, or pretty much next, next month, or next year, this is going to be 12 years old. The CPU is 12 years old, and it still runs pretty good. So, yeah, that's pretty nice to know. Night, or Q110. I don't know, but whatever. That's pretty much it. Let's see if you can see this thing restart or not. <laughs> Looks pretty bright on the video, or at least on my laptop, but on screen right here in front of me, it's kind of dark. I have to set it to where the, the camera would be able to see it properly. So yeah, there you go. Now was the BIOS you saw. This is the Windows 10 logo. I think this thing is camera shy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into the CPU. Maybe I put on the cooler a bit different, but I'll probably have to get more thermal paste. That's for sure, and that's gonna come in sometime next week. I probably shouldn't mess with it too much because then I don't wanna wait a week to use this thing, but. <sighs> But yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't like it. But I don't care because you won't be able to see how many dislikes I have. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later and see ya.